The purpose of this video is to show you how to add things or essentially format your topic bar. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your turn editing on button. When you click turn editing on you're going to see um, some you're going to be able to edit um, and add things to your Moodle page. What we're going to do right now is we're going to format our topic bar. Now as I stated before topic bars are, are these areas right here and they're indicated one, two, three, four, so on and so forth. Also as indicated earlier, it suggested that you look at each topic bar as its individual unit and build everything that uh, your learner would need for that unit within that one topic bar. But before you can do that, you need to name the topic bar so that they're organized. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the edit button right here, edit summary for this topic bar number one. And I'll click on that. When I click on that, I'm going to see I will have access to an HTML editor. Now I'm going to name this um, first topic. Uh, I'm going to say this is a world history course, so I'm going to name it um, Reformation. So I'll just go ahead and type in. And we're just going to assume that this is my first unit. Now it's really important to remember the uh, learner and, and how they're they're accessing and, and interacting with with the Moodle visually and on every other level. So what you're probably going to want to do is since that this is a, a unit name, it should be the most prominent element of the topic bar. So once you have this highlighted, go ahead and center it. And you can handle this however you want. This is how I suggest you do it. Um, you go ahead and center it. You can change the color to some kind of a theme that you want to keep throughout the Moodle. I'm just going to go with the green here. And then you'll probably want to change the font to make it a little bit larger. I'm going to go 18. Uh, anything larger than 18 kind of gets um, a little cartoonish. So it's best, probably 18 is probably the largest you want to go with. Again, handle it however you like. Once I have that done, I'll save my changes. And as you can see, Reformation shows up very prominently under topic bar number one. Now some variations to this and a, a quick tip is I could put, just again, to remove any confusion, unit one Reformation or what have you. Another way to think of this is organizing it like a textbook. In a textbook you have um, sections, chapters, so on and so forth, and they always go from largest to smallest. Um, you kind of want to organize a unit in Moodle the same way. Okay, quick tip here. Um, feel free to do this or not do this. This is just a little time saver. Um, I have, if I want to go to my second, third, fourth, and so on units, um, I'm going to have to remember what color I used, the, the size, the font, did I bold it, did I not. Um, and if you're like me, you'll forget and, and have to go back and it'll take you a little bit longer. So what I suggest doing is this, these little parentheses uh, toggle HTML on. All that means is it'll turn in whatever's here into code. And what I'm going to do is I'll toggle that on. It'll make it look like this. I'll highlight it, copy, toggle this off, save changes. Then I'll go down to my second topic bar, go in there and edit it. Toggle the HTML back on, paste, you'll see the code there, toggle it back off, and now I have the uniform color, font, all that good kind of stuff. I can just then change this to two, and we'll just say the, the second unit's going to be, let's just say, exploration. Save changes there. Come down to three and just repeat this step all the way through so that this layer, if you will, of my course shell or my course outline is completely finished. I might call this unit three. Um, again, I'm just gonna, what, whatever it might be there. And I'll save changes. Now you can actually go through and just do that for each topic bar if you know your units. Now I wouldn't recommend putting too much information in, into this space right here 
because if as you if you put too much in there it's going to wind up uh, really stretching out your topic bars and make navigation a little more difficult for your learners uh, but you can put like a brief introduction well uh, there's another place where you can do that um, as well okay so if I want to continue doing this I can go over to my icon here highlight this close the eyes on these other units so that my my students can't see it if you're actually working uh, on this during the school year uh, that's how that's recommended so again just to summarize topic bars uh, is recommended that you look at them as units if you want to look at them another way that's fine as well um, when you begin to add information to your topic bars you really want to make sure that your, your your unit or your whatever the subject of the topic bar is is front and center um, nice and clear for that so that your learners know exactly what they're going to to get in that topic bar and this has been topic bars